2013, uh, the final parts of the Easy Stuart S50 build. Uh, and this one was going to run through uh, a few painting techniques, ways of painting it and what we did and then obviously building up the final build and then uh, the last run on her. Um, I was hoping to run it on steam but my little steam plant's not finished off yet. Uh, but if, later on if we get it built up uh, we may do a little video running it on, on steam. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching all the series. Um, if you don't mind, mind liking and subscribing to the channel that would be fantastic. And in this one, like I said, we'll get it built up, get it painted, and let's have a look at it finished off. And uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you at the end. First thing we did after all that hard work was take it all to pieces. Um, but obviously, we've got to do this to paint it. So it is just stripped down uh, to its castings. Uh, next thing was to get some nice uh, fine wet and dry and give it a good sanding all over to get most of the, uh, the red oxide that we put on. Um, so we can then put a bit of body filler on. Um, don't go daft with this, you can see we just put a little bit on. It's just a, a fine filler, there's just a few little dents and uh, hollows in the in the casting. But I so say you don't want to go too daft, uh, the less body filler the better. So as you can see we rubbed it down, you can just see there on the on the other side just a couple of little faint little hollows after it's been rubbed down. Um, and, and there on the next one where it's masked up you can just see again a couple of hollows on the front. So it doesn't need a great lot really of filler which is, is the best thing to do. So yeah, so we, we masked it up. Um, do your best to sort of cover all the, the machined areas, if you will. So where the, the cross head goes, obviously where the cylinder bolts on, and the bearings, that way we put in the uh, the main bearings there, and also just screw up some little bits of uh, masking tape and put them in where the oilers are gonna go in the threads there. Uh, I got a comment on one of the other videos from Neil. Um, he was asking me what, what do we use. Um, in the past I've even used, believe it or not, a bit of blue tack for small holes like that. I just put it in and after you just get a pin and pick it out. Um, but yeah, in this case, we just use a bit of screwed up um, masking tape. I think he suggested a bit of cork as well, which will, will work fine. So you can see there, like I say, we, we, um, we've got it all ready now in the H prime. So that's the first coat. If you can see, it's a bit patchy. You don't want your first coat I'll be explaining on one of the bike videos when we painted bike. If you first set prime, you just want it to go on just roughly, it grabs all the metal, and while it's still a bit tacky, we give it a second coat, let that one then harden off, and then a third coat, um, and then we then go on to the, to the glossing. Now, on this, we actually actually glossed it um, with the brush, and it bothered spraying it. I was, I was thinking of using a little uh, uh, gun and spraying it, but I thought, well, most people will be using either what we call a rattle can or the, the X primer. Uh, and a brush, so that's what that's what I've done. So I've actually painted this um, with a brush. Get yourself a good quality, uh, heat resistant paint if you can, because obviously it's going to get warm when you run it on steam. So nice heat resistant paint. You can mask up if you're doing the black at the bottom. It's up to you how you paint it. I said this is just what I did. Uh, you can mask up the see the blue tape um, to paint the black bit at the bottom. But again, not a lot of people had the fine uh, lining tape like that. So I actually painted the bottom just freehand just took me time uh, and just painted black in afterwards uh, and you can see just there in the top corner you see the little black patch um, where we're going to be in the Stuart logo painted that bit black first let it dry and then I've cut round it with the green to give us that that black plate because uh, it's a little name plate and then we then touch it in white so just use a little cotton bud anything like that you just get a bit of paint on like an old uh, dish or something like that and you want very little paint on there too much paint it will run down and just fill the whole plate and you just basically just dab very gently the letters with a cotton bud with the white paint on it and give it and i actually give it two coats because the first coat so you put it on that thin uh, you, you can't really you know the first coat doesn't really cover it so just give it two coats and just just uh, just dab it on the one thing is if you do go daft um, and you put a bit too much on don't panic you can just wipe it off and let it dry repaint that like a uh, black again and then go again with the white there we go all built up and running back on over again yeah we've just got this running off a little compressor just like down using the using regulator on there you can see most of the parts are polished up uh, the eccentric strap um, the crank crank web the cross head rails we've uh, running the ends off on them but you can also on the early videos Polish them just look a lot nicer with rounded end. So that taper plus the rounded end just makes them just look a little bit better. And just the Stuart's suggestion square, but I think they look a lot nicer. And all we've done to to real is just an outline and simply just a, a blow gun with the, the aquatic pipes on the end of it. Uh, now, a few of you might have noticed the cladding. Um, I'm not too sure about it. I, I like the cylinder. I have made it, you can see, and I've actually drilled and tapped the holes. 
uh, but I do like the cylinder as it is so that's why I give it a nice coat to gloss black so I'm still not sure whether to fit that or not yet uh, but that's up to you, totally up to you, it's personal choice that it makes no effect on the running and there you can see the Stuart what we did just to highlight it there so it's a nice black plate with the, with the Stuart logo standing out on there I did that uh, like a satin black as well to make it look a bit different to make it stand out from the gloss black and this is the other side, uh, steam chest all polished up uh, and I went for the, the nice yellow flywheel, it looks pretty good against the green and on the steam chest the little square in the castings there they were painted the same green as well and as you can see I've actually got some bolts holding this together this time not like we did last time so all the bolts are in now um, also just make it nice and finished off yeah really chuffed with the result uh, what you were, like I say it's been a nice little project just in the evenings which is what we wanted, good present from my dad um, I said we've got to think about what, now what, what to do next but yeah really really chuffed with it a few little bits and pieces I just want to finish off yet uh, come back to that, uh, Claddin have a think about that uh, but basically we're there, I said I'm going to mount it on a, a nice piece of, of wood uh, might even get like a pulley machined up just for the front there uh, where the flywheel is uh, but yeah it's basically the 99.9% .9 completed this air but again this is just a guideline anything you know you want to do do different you can see as we work through we just change a few things but the main thing we worked off of the uh, the drawings and uh, everything came to hopefully came to plan there you go job done uh hope you like that um different slightly different way we painted it did the stuart on there and also on the cylinder uh cladding i'm not sure yet about that it's a nice little feature but i actually like it you know the cylinder exposed that's why we give it a nice coat of black gloss um yellow flywheel on there i said just all little bits just polished up a little bits of brass um also on the the, the steel parts yeah, i've got a bit more polishing to do yet um but it's, it's, it's basically there uh, just one little thing, I'm not too keen on the little nut and bolt that Stuart supplied. Uh, it just looks like a bit bulky for the nice little fork there, so I might do something with that, I'm not sure yet. And yes, I've still got to finish the pin. Um, just a little slap, just, just trim it down a little bit, it's basically there. Uh, but yeah, that's it, so there you go. Uh, if you have any questions, anything else you'd like to know, um, give us a shout. Put it in the, in the comments below and we'll get them answered for you. Uh, anything else you'd like to see, uh, we had a comment on one of the videos from Neil. Uh, asking what the next project would be well give us some suggestions anything you'd like to see we'll try and cover it uh, not promising but we'll do our best um, there we go all up and running so yeah i hope you like that and thanks for watching uh, it's been a pleasure to have you along i said we'll do a few more videos on different things maybe some more steam maybe some more on, on bikes or fishing anything at all we'll, we'll, we'll do a few videos so yeah thanks thanks again for watching we really appreciate your company and until next time youtubers it'll be right